Hi, my name is Abhishek Rai and I work for BMC Cloud Lifecycle Management product. Today I'm going to talk about moving an existing VM from one cluster to another. The plan is to discuss changes required when you move a virtual machine from one cluster to another cluster. Once you're done with the activities and configurations, you will have an understanding of all the artifacts required to change when you move a virtual machine from one cluster to another. During the demo, we will discuss on classes which needs to be touched to make the necessary changes. Let's switch to the forms and take a look at the configurations. Okay, I'm on an AR system object list and I have type BMC underscore computer system. Class, click search and here's the search result. Double click on that. This will open a new tab for BMC underscore computer system configuration item. Search for your VM which you moved from one cluster to another cluster. Once you have the search result, then uh, switch to custom three tab. The external ID, which has got URI for your uh, virtual machine. So the first section talks about the URI of your virtual machine and the second section talks about URI of the vCenter. Just to make sure that moving a virtual machine from one cluster to another doesn't change these values, open the SOAP UI or you can use REST call as well and verify the URI of your virtual machine. So um, I'm going to change this section. So let's click on that, replace the name with the name of my virtual machine and click close. That's the web service URL to fetch the property set classes of your virtual machine. Now click on this icon to fetch the data. OK, so uh, here is the URI. And if you scroll a little bit right side, here is the full. OK, so here is the URI, which is ending with 9P57. Let's go back to the form and make sure that the URI doesn't get changed when you move a VM from one cluster to another cluster. So here is the URI, which is same. Click cancel, then click on view relationship. So each computer system record has a relationship with a cluster and we'll have to make sure that it's pointing to the right cluster after moving your VM from one cluster to another cluster. So here is the CI and um, the first section is the vCenter and then second section is basically uh, the domain ID of your cluster and the class ID is BMC underscore cluster. So um, as you have moved your VM from one cluster to another cluster then uh, it's mandatory to modify this uh, relationship. So click on view related CI and you'll have to modify this domain ID and short description which is basically the cluster name and then uh, the token ID. This only needs to be changed when you are not changing your vCenter. So we are assuming that vCenter is still uh, same. It's just the cluster which got changed. So to get the domain ID of your uh, new cluster, uh, there are two ways. One is you can use the REST call or you can switch to BSC the console and browse your uh, vCenter. So here is my vCenter. I have already live browsed it and expand the VMware vCenter server section cluster. And then here is my new cluster. Let me right click and uh, open the properties. OK, let's click uh, on properties and internal attribute one is the one which carries the domain ID. So I'll copy this domain ID and switch back to BMC underscore cluster form and replace this section with a new domain ID. Short description will have your new cluster name. Then this section, then you need to switch back to the custom three tab and make sure that the external ID has the new domain ID of your cluster. So this section also needs to be changed. And before replacing the old domain ID with a new one, you just need to copy that uh, domain ID so that you can modify the uh, data store external IDs as well. So once you're done with this configuration, click OK and then uh, switch back to your AR system object. Search for BMC underscore storage volume and open this form. Now switch back to custom three tab. Then here's the external ID and just paste your old domain ID of your cluster. Then click on search. OK, so there are uh, two data store which were associated with your old cluster. And you can go ahead and uh, modify the domain ID with a new domain ID of that cluster. So here is the domain ID section which needs to be modified for both the records. I hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for watching this.